Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Chris, Joy, yeah, you guys, what was this trip? Where were you guys at and, and what were you doing? We went over uh, to Molokai for a family vacation slash our baptismal for our little nephew. We just wanted to do a little site of Molokai that we've never went to, but we had a time to really do. Yeah. And then we went over to the sea cliffs. Yeah, and sea cliffs are like the huge cliffs. These where, are the yeah. highest sea, sea cliffs. cliffs. In the world, yeah? Yes. Wow. About 3,000 plus feet to the ground. It's a big drop. To see that type of height, it really does take your breath away. Just to see that magnitude of the distance. To fall that far and into an unforgiving ocean like that, it, w it would have been a horrible way to, to go. This place is desolate. Yeah. There, there's there's yeah, nobody, there's no houses around anything. If we would have had to get paramedics there, it would have took them at least probably 45 minutes to get there. And down at the bottom, it's just big boulders and waves just smashing up against it. So I was just enjoying the beauty, but I sat like at the edge of the cliff, which was kind of crazy. And all of a sudden, I guess everybody saw it. Like, oh, where's Joy? And then I had a friend, CJ. He, I guess he jumped off and like, went on top of the shelf I was on. It fell down, hit my head. The force of the impact when she hit her head, she heard ringing. If she would have rolled any further, just even just a little bit, she would have fell to her death. It's so high up that even the impact on the water would kill you. So when CJ came down to give me water, yeah, he went back up to go get another guy. Then he went to go get uh, TJ. Yeah. So he could have somebody help her to get her up out of there because oh. there was really no way for her to just um, like climb, back climb out her own self because uh, whenever she hit with the force of impact, it uh, tore her ACL. I felt kind of bad because I was like, I don't want him to die for saving me. Like, I was scared, like, looking out, like, what could have been. I don't know. <laughs> but I knew I was at peace because mm. I, like, surrendered. Like, that was the time in my life where I, I know God. Like when you completely surrender to him, like everything falls in place. And that was the time I really had to give everything to him. Like if I knew that he would take my life, I would have been okay because I know I had a good husband. We raise our kids well. But you're alive. Amen. Amen. It seems like God's really used that situation mm -hmm. for all that you're saying in relationship, like a spiritual relationship. Oh yes, but definite deeper on the spiritual relationship with Him, which I, I've been waiting for. And I didn't know I would get it by 29, 30. You know, it's kind of long. <laughs> I was hoping it maybe it would happen like at 16, but it's all on God's time, right? Maybe how would you encourage them, I mean, in, in relationship to Jesus and his life and him giving second chances. I would encourage people that are lost to not be prideful and open your heart. Talk to God. If you're, you're scared, talk to him. Like, have prayer. For me, I had to pray and say, Lord, I give you everything, you know? 